Well, residents in Laneysia are up in arms as Johannesburg water clamps down on illegal connections. The utility says this is part of a planned operation to address water loss. Police are currently on the ground monitoring that situation, but let's take you there live to Newsroom Africa's Zola Sholwana, who is tracking that story. Uh, Zola, we just, good afternoon. We just heard from uh, Johannesburg Water yesterday about the situation in the city insofar as water restrictions are concerned. We were told we were on level one water restrictions, not on level four. What the city also did emphasize yesterday was that um, paying for water was a non-negotiable. So what's the situation in Laneysia? Well, Michelle, I'm sure you're able to see that there's quite heavy police presence right behind me and they are monitoring the situation following an operation that was conducted by Joburg Water to cut illegal water connections as we understand that um, an area called Pumlamgashi, which is on my right, has been allegedly illegally connecting uh, to the grid and uh, they then came here in the morning to disconnect those individuals as they are saying that that has been uh, crippling the water utility as far as revenue is concerned and it is actually contributing to the water loss that uh, the entire city is experiencing at this point. Now, residents retaliated uh, to that, essentially saying that We've been connecting to the grid for over 10 years. Why are you coming now to disconnect us? I'm going to move out of shot so I'm able to show you uh, what the situation is looking like right now with the residents. It looks like they're trying to negotiate with the police and uh, police are obviously trying to, you know, calm the situation down. But residents are saying that we are not backing down even when the police, after the police leave here, we will continue fighting if Joburg Water is perhaps planning to continue continue with you know this operation tomorrow as we understand that it caught a lot of them um, you know, a lot, it caught a lot of them not ready, uh, Michelle. They did not anticipate that this would usually happen, as we understand that in most parts of Gauteng, we've been seeing a lot of electricity cuts that are done by electricity utilities. But this one is mainly focusing on water, and this is one of the areas. It's an informal settlement, and we do know that most informal settlements that have mushroomed into the city are actually known for connecting themselves into the grid. And uh, residents are not taking that well saying that how are we supposed how, how are we supposed to survive from here going on what we are trying to see if we're able to you know grab a few residents just to get a word um, Michelle as to what's going to happen now and uh, you know what's what's going to happen in fact moving forward understanding that uh, some of the residents will not have water but can I please, please just speak to you thank you very much for your time tell us as residents why are you gathered outside here today Oh, we've got a problem. We just see uh, Johannesburg water coming to our um, squatter camp from Lamkash. Then they cut the water. Without notifying our leaders, even councillor doesn't know anything. You understand? We've been living here for seven years. So she was supposed to, to know. Even, even we are connected legally, but they have to notify our councillor. In order, councillor will notify the block committees. You understand? So if they had notified your councillor and the relevant structures that you're speaking about, were you going to agree to be disconnected from the grid? No. We cannot, we cannot live without water. What is very important, everybody, you know, even yourself, you wake up, you sleep, you have to wash and eat and cook. It's water. So... People, our people in Pumlamkashi, they need water. We are very sorry for, for, for you to see this because of uh, the, the, the Johannesburg water. They didn't tell anyone. They do as they want. So what's going to happen moving forward? I think we are waiting for Kansela or the region to intervene. That's all I can say. If Joburg water continues with the operation tomorrow, what's going to happen? We have to take an action. We are the voter. We are the voter. We got the right. They must give us the water. You understand? Yeah, we're going to on back on strike every time. So after they're saying you have connected illegally on the grid and that you are causing, you're actually contributing to the water losses, what are you saying? Come again. 
the Job Joburg Water says you have connected on the water grid illegally and that uh, you are contributing to the water cuts or water losses. What are you saying? I think as a voter of Pumnam Kash, they have to make some, some means, bring the development to the people, in order the people must get the water. Okay. It's loud and clear. Thank you very much for your time. While well, Michelle, residents are saying they are not backing down, as you see that they are continuing with the protest and uh, essentially saying that this will not be the end. They will continue uh, fighting for what they believe, and that is water. Can I just, to you, okay, how do you feel about the water situation? Yeah, we are very angry. We need water. And now police are shooting us here. Yeah. We, 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 need we need water. We need water. We need water. The only no thing answer. we request is water. We don't want anyone coming to address us with water. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, so if the operation continues to if the operation continues to cut water tomorrow, what's gonna happen? We will remain here. We're not gonna sleep. We're not waiting for tomorrow, we're not gonna sleep. Why here up until the water is back? Why here also? Yeah, I also wanna say, man, you know, let us let the oh. let, let, let us let the government help us because we are we're not fighting with the cops, but you understand the cops are doing their jobs, no? So there's no, there's no water, there's no food, there's only, it's December. You know, many things are happening, so we need help. That's in which that the government can help us because of unemployment and that crime has come to an end. Thank you very much for your time. The residents are saying that they demand, uh, you know, access to water. And they're saying, as you have heard, Michelle, they're even planning on staying up the entire night until there's some sort of intervention because they do not see another day without having access to water. As much as they understand that they have connected to the grid um, illegally and that Joburg Water has conducted this operation uh, where they do not inform anyone, but they're not willing to let go of their precious resource, which is water. At this point, we are told that the councillor is expected to come any time from now and address the residents about what has happened today. Back to you, studio.